Classic Tales, Level Three, Aladdin, retold by Sue Arango, read by Oliver Wyman, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2011. A magician read about an old lamp. Rub this, he read, and a genie appears. He can do anything for you. His magic ball said, "The lamp is in a cave in China, and only this boy can get it." The magician went to China to look for the boy, and a year later he found him. "That's Aladdin," a girl told him. "His father's dead. He and his mother are poor." Because Aladdin doesn't do any work, the magician visited Aladdin's house. He smiled at Aladdin's mother and said, "I am your husband's brother. I can help you. Look, here is some money." Oh, Aladdin! cried his mother. "This is your uncle." Run and get some food. Your son must have work," said the magician. "He can work for me." Aladdin's mother was happy to hear this, but Aladdin wasn't happy because he didn't like work. The magician took Aladdin to the hills. He did some magic, and the ground opened up. Open that door," he said to Aladdin. "There's a cave of gold down there," said the magician. "Go through that cave, but don't take any gold. Then there's a garden. Go through the garden to a small cave. There's an old lamp there. Get it for me." Are you afraid? Here, put this ring on your finger. It can help you. Now go. Aladdin went down and got the lamp. He didn't take any gold, but he took some strange fruit from the garden. Uncle, can you help me? He called. Where's the lamp? said the magician angrily. Give me the lamp, the lamp. Now suddenly Aladdin was afraid of his uncle, and he didn't want to go back. Stay down there, then! cried the magician. Bang! And he closed the door of the cave. It was dark. Aladdin cried and rubbed his hands. By accident, he rubbed the ring, and suddenly a big red genie appeared. "I am the genie of the ring," he said. "What do you want?" "I want to go home," Aladdin cried. And suddenly he was at home in bed. His mother came in and saw the lamp. Oh, I can sell this to buy food, she thought. But I must clean it first. Aladdin's mother rubbed the lamp, and a very big orange genie appeared. I am the genie of the lamp," he said. "What do you want?" "Oh," cried Aladdin. "Get us something to eat." The genie vanished and came back with silver trays of wonderful food. That bad man was not your uncle. Said Aladdin's mother. 
Put that old lamp away. We can sell these trays. Aladdin took the silver trays to the market. Then he remembered the fruit. He ran and got it, and a man told him, "Mmm, these are jewels, and they're very big, and very expensive." Suddenly, everybody was quiet. Princess Zadia walked past. Oh, she is beautiful! Cried Aladdin. He ran home to tell his mother. Mother, I love Princess Zadia," said Aladdin. "I must marry her or die. Oh, please, mother, go and ask the king. Take him all these expensive jewels. So Aladdin's mother went to the palace and waited. At last, the king saw her. Oh, please, sir," she said. "My son wants to marry your daughter. Look, sir. He gives you all these big jewels, sir." Very nice," said the king. "But." I must think about it. Come back in three months. Aladdin's mother came back three months later, and the king thought, "Not that poor woman again." And he said, "Tell your son this: I want forty more trays of jewels." And I want a gold palace for my daughter next to my palace. Then he can marry her. I'm sorry, Aladdin," said his mother, and she told him about the jewels and the gold palace. But Aladdin smiled. He took out the magic lamp and rubbed it. Forty trays of jewels, please," Aladdin told the genie. "And a gold palace in the king's garden, next to his palace. I want new clothes, a white horse, and a hundred men to go with me. They must all carry bags of money. Yes, you can have it." Said the genie, and so Aladdin went to the palace on a beautiful white horse. His men gave money to the poor people in the streets. Oh, who is this prince? Everybody asked. Where's the new palace? Said the king. Look out of the window," Aladdin said. And there was a big gold palace in the garden. What could the king say? All right, you can marry my daughter. And so Aladdin married Princess Zadia. They were very happy. And every day, Aladdin's men gave food and money to all the poor people in the streets. But far away, the bad magician saw something in the stars. Aladdin is alive, and he has the lamp. I must get it. I must have that lamp. I must. So he dressed as a poor man and went to China again. There he asked, "Do you know somebody called Aladdin?" "Oh yes," everybody said. "He married Princess Zadia. He lives in that big gold palace." He comes out every day on his horse. 
The magician went to the market to buy some new lamps. Then he walked up and down near the palace and called out, New lamps for old! New lamps for old! He didn't want any money, so people laughed at him. But some of them ran to give him their old lamps and get nice, new, clean lamps. Princess Zadia saw all this from a window in the palace. Aladdin has a dirty old lamp, she laughed. Quick, take it out to that strange man and get Aladdin a nice, new, clean lamp. So the girl ran out with the old magic lamp. The magician knew it well. He gave the girl a new lamp. Then he took the old lamp and ran away with it. He rubbed it and the genie appeared. Take Aladdin's palace away, the magician cried, and everything in it. Then Aladdin's palace vanished. Later that day, Aladdin came back. Where's my daughter? cried the king. You must die for this, Aladdin. The king's men tied Aladdin's hands with rope. By accident, the rope rubbed the ring on Aladdin's finger, and the big red genie appeared. Quick, Aladdin cried. Take me to Princess Zadia. Oh, Aladdin, cried Princess Zadia, my love. She told him everything. And now the magician wants me to marry him, she said. Where is the lamp? asked Aladdin. He carries it with him under his coat. Listen, Aladdin said. Be nice to him. Smile. Give him a drink tonight. Come, drink with me, Princess Zadia said to the magician. Ladies, sing, please. The princess and the magician sat and listened. Then Princess Zadia smiled. She gave the magician a drink. Aladdin quietly put something into that drink. The magician drank it and went to sleep. Tie him up and take him out of the palace, Aladdin told his men. Then he rubbed the magic lamp and the genie appeared. Quick, take this palace and everything in it back to China, Aladdin cried. Yes, sir, said the genie. And so the king got his daughter back and Aladdin got his lovely princess, his lovely wife and they never saw the bad magician again.